Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through this. This would be a seller buy down versus price reduction. So stay with me. On the left, you have the property at 700,000. You know, by the way, you should be able to enlarge with the little box with the arrows in the corner so that you can see it full size. So $700,000 property, the buyer puts 20% down, 5.99 rate. In this example, with taxes and insurance, roughly 37.83 per month, okay? Now, take that same approach. The seller's thinking we need to drop the price. You're advising them, but hold on a second. There might be a more appropriate way to help you than to do that. Keep the price at $700,000 actually helps sustain the prices in the neighborhood because as soon as you drop, that becomes the next sales price, which your neighbors suffer by doing that. 700,000 sales price, take 3%, $21,000 to buy down the buyer's rate towards their closing costs. This, in this example, buys down the rate 1%. They would pay a half a percent to buy down themselves in this example, but you can see that the payment would then in fact drop $350 per month and they would be at a rate sub 5%. You'd be able to advertise a 30 year fixed sub 5% on a property still at $700,000. Alternatively, you go the price drop method on the right. Their rate is still 5.99. The price becomes 679 because you took the 21,000, you were going to buy down the rate, you drop the price $21,000. And suddenly they're sitting there with a payment that is only $100 less than when it was at $700,000. So is that buyer who's fearful of these high rates enticed when they're gonna save $100 versus an additional 250 for a total of $350 in savings? This might move the property compared to the price drop. Hope that helps. If you need further explanations, reach out. We'll talk to you soon.